Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday night. It is time for the Raw Wrap-Up. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Beachview neighborhood, Pittsburgh, PA, Sorgatron Media Studios. Ready to talk professional wrestling. And I got, uh, of course, as usual, from Poughkeepsie, New York. He is the toy slanger extraordinaire. He is the only one of us on the crew with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Sorg, to quote, the greatest Christmas movie of all time, Die Hard. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast! <laughs> and That's also, how Raw ended. That's how Raw ended. And also with us, we have a special guest. We were looking for him last week, but he's made an appearance this evening. Billy Johnson, uh, our, a member of our pizza club on the Patreon, has joined us. Thank you for joining us there, Billy. Thank you for having me, Sorg. Mad Mike, good talking to you, brother. And I want to point out, if you're on audio or if you're on video, you're, you're representing over there uh, for, for a friend of the show as well. Yes, I am. I'm representing for my man, John McChesney, uh, going, under, going under the knife Wednesday for his surgery. Um, hopefully, he'll be back quicker than the six to eight months he's, he's talking about. But I had to come represent Tim, Team Big League here on the show. Absolutely. Oh, man. Speedy recovery, Fab. Speedy recovery. Absolutely. Uh, let's get, get back to it. Uh, big league. Um, it was, you know, hey, if, if nothing else, he went out in glorious fashion. Yes, he did. For those that don't know I, about the local scene here, uh, he went out in a match with Adam Cole. Yes, that Adam Cole that showed up in NXT recently. Uh, separated his shoulder, had it put back in by referee Bobby Williams, and had it separated again. And now he's having, of course, surgery uh as in the aftermath of that so um so shouts out to him uh you know much love and, and good luck with everything and speedy recoveries from the mayhem nation uh here again uh larry is in the chat room and says yes billy made it <laughs> <laughs> i'm just answering the, the hashtag where's billy well i'm in studio this week hashtag where's billy there you go uh so anyways let's get into the point of this show which is raw the, you know, we do and, and by the way billy does has something special for us we're going to get into after we get into our uh get done with our usual raw wrap-up uh shenanigans so raw tonight mike how are you feeling because that's always the interesting question isn't it um well things certainly did happen on uh, that tonight. is that is a true statement <laughs> Things certainly actually did happen. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if all of them mattered, but a lot of them did. <laughs> okay, okay. There was like a hey, soft. That, that's 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 a solid review for. That me. is a solid review. That is. <laughs> that is it's not one of those weeks where like Impact Wrestling is better than this. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, uh, and uh, I mean, all right. If you didn't know that that's how this cage match was ending, um, Lashley and Umaga say hello. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much but, but, but billy billy that got you by surprise right that, that it, yeah i will say it, it caught me by surprise and then sorg pointed out lashley no maga and it's like yeah you're right that's how it's supposed to be because i was mike i was thinking yeah. of it the whole time i'm thinking like like he's climbing the cage i'm like what could they do to destroy a cage then i thought like lashley umaga right and for those that yeah. remember i believe lashley speared through the cage and the cage yes. opened up on top of Umaga. Yeah. Yes, and the cage part actually fell down like on top of where the announcing desks were. Right. So right. I will say this part, this one, was, um, like shot a lot better and looked a hell of a lot cooler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looked a hell of a lot. And props to Big Show. Jeez, Big yes. Show fucking stealing Kyrie Sane's elbow. First of all, can, can we talk <laughs> about that? You're saying you're saying but, that the big, like show, big show shows up with a fucking anchor next week and a damn spinny wheel, like and he turns into a full blown sailor. I'm on board. You know what? After that move, maybe there's something where he hit his head and he thinks he is Kyrie Sane. Um, if that's the case, then I would very much like uh, Pentagon Jr. versus Big Show <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yes, and like, like two Pentag other Big Pentagon Shows. Pentagon will think Big Show is the entire Black Lotus tribe absorbed into one Voltron-like man. Mm. <laughs> I like these ideas. Of course, Kyrie Sane is doing some amazing stuff in the main Young Classic. Uh, we have no spoilers. Watched, I haven't seen it yet. No uh, well, spoilers. Uh, we, well, you know there's at least two matches with her. Yes, I know. We watched one. She won that. 
sorry if you didn't watch last week's May Young Classic. Uh, and I'm like, we're like over halfway ish through May Young Classic for this week, so I won't go any further. Other than Mike, you will uh-huh. be very pleased. Prov- provided I can stay awake, I did sling a lot of toys at people today. Yes. I may be live tweeting all of the May Young Classic. Oh, tonight. I cannot wait to hear your. So, um, yes. If you do not want spoilers. Avoid the Mayhem Show Twitter. I will try and keep it as spoiler-free as possible. I will not name winners. No, 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 no. I will be talking about the matches. As it was, I mean, when you talk about certain matches beyond this first round, because it's the rest of the rounds. It's up through. uh, This is what the show's about. There are so many matches that I don't want to choose who to love. Oh, no, there's going to be a lot of. There's going to be a lot lot of. There's going to be a lot of baby split in this one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be very sad, Mm -hmm. but very happy at the Mm -hmm. same time. Anyways, back to Raw. Speaking of, yes, Big Show (laughs) Show is doing the elbow drop of a small Japanese woman. That's where we left off. Larry says you better finish Mae Young by tomorrow because I have opinions. (laughs) 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 All right, Larry. Challenge accepted. Oh geez, I I just can't wait to hear. Like, I, I'm hoping Shirley Doe is also watching this, as he he's he's scheduled for the show tomorrow. And and I I don't know. I've never had a conversation with Shirley Doe before, so I just know he has wrestling opinions as well. <laughs> so, anyways, it'll be fun. That's wrestling mayhem show tomorrow. Raw. We can't get through this cage match. No. Uh, Big Show. Big Show doing stuff. Like, I mean, they're they're calling back to like when he used to do an elbow drop off the off the top rope like 20 years ago when he was younger and lighter. Which he's probably about as light, if not lighter, than he was then, right? I would say so. Yeah. Um. But you know, I I didn't expect anything but a phenomenal big guy match. That didn't look like it. Spent like it, it, it. seemed like Big Show spent half of the time standing on a top rope. Uh, yeah, I, it was a, it was a little, it was a little. It started a little slow for me, but I, they were they were just building up. Like, oh, and it, it really paid off at the end. As a as a proper story should be, Billy. What, what were your opinions of that that that, that cage match there? I, I thought it was amazing. I thought I actually you, I might be the only one, but I thought one of the the better comments was when Michael Cole said if. If he hits this, he's going to rename it 405 Live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which means he's been listening to the internet. Yes. Yeah. Because I, I think we even said that at one point, I think, too. I, yeah, I think all of us have. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I just really, yeah. I got I to set up something technical, so go ahead, Mike. Okay. No, I mean, um, I, I think we need to move on from the cage match, though, because that was awesome. But, like, I, unless Brock is there to kind of react to it, mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Because it's not like Big Show was exactly lighting the world on fire before. Sure, it was a great match. But, like, even even they said in the commentary, like, Braun didn't know why this match was happening. Like, they could have set it up last week or something. Mm-hmm. Like, have Braun eliminate Big Show from the the Intercontinental Battle Royal or something like that. Like, just... Something or like Braun laughing that Big Show was eliminated in the cruise in the cru- in the in the yeah. Battle Royal. Like it's just, just like something. Hey, this kick ass kicked ass last time. Let's put it in the cage because we need somebody something for Braun to do. Yeah, like like but we I mean, just he, we he just, he hit the just laughed at Big Show last week or something like that. Like there there was no setup for this one. Mm-hmm. At least the setup last time, like they had had interactions before and they had feud. Like this one, it just. It felt a little hollow. It was fun, but mm-hmm. it felt a little hollow, you know? Which is kind of the opposite of the problem that we usually have, where it's like uh, there's, they seem to have a purpose, but I don't know if I cared. Um, it, it's kind of it's kind of like, <laughs> and this, this is why you have me on, Sword. It's kind of like in Back to the Future 2, where you have the hydrated pizza. <laughs> okay. Like, sure, you get a great pizza at the end. But you don't get to see the sizzle, the dough rise. You don't get to smell it. You just like, boom! Here's your pizza. <laughs> huh? Like, there's no, I, there's no build up. I can't believe you just brought that around. That's amazing. Um, anyways, <laughs> other things that maybe are are a little better than a hydrated pizza on Raw. Um, I, I, you know, we we're kind of sitting there, and uh, we think the, the we were kind of on the same mind here in the studio watching. Uh, 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 Jason Jordan. I was trying to remember his name. I want to say Jimmy Johnson. Um, 
Just pick some J's, right? <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. If John Cena fought the old coach for the Cowboys, I'd be okay with that. I'd be on board. <laughs> I'd be on board. But match, match of his career, uh, obviously, but it had to be against John Cena. Um, I don't know about that. No? You, yeah, come on, that was a good match. No, it was a fine match. I don't know match of his career. Maybe match of his singles career. Yes. But... He's been involved in much better matches than that. In the in the tag world? Yeah, um I, I believe uh Monsieur's Dash E Dawson would disagree with you. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I mean, come on, revi- revi- revival versus American Alpha? Come on now. And you know, and again, while it was a great match with John Cena, Lol Cena wins. <laughs> Yes, but I will go back to you don't have to beat Cena and or uh, uh, yell to win the night with Cena. Yeah, but if right after the match you hear burn burn <laughs> and then no and then Jason Jordan disappears. <laughs> like, you know, would have been great if Roman Reigns comes out, they do their jaw jacking and then Jason Jordan surprises John Cena with an Olympic slam. Mhm. Like, just to show, like, hey, I'm still here, motherfucker, and I have ruthless aggression. Or what What about if Jason Jordan slips back in the ring and gives Roman Reigns the Olympic slam? Because he was trashing Jason Jordan, saying he was, a no, he was a no-count rookie, and, you know, John Cena's carrying him through the match. So, I mean, he's bad-mouthing Jordan, too. Mm-hmm. Or, better yet, have, like... They did this on 205 Live a couple weeks ago. They had uh, TJ Perkins come out and say, oh, I can beat this guy much quicker than you did, Rich Swan." Then you have that. You have Cena cause a distraction, and you have Jason Jordan get a pin on Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. Like, how cool would that have been? And, uh, that would have actually helped. Or or even a set up, you know, I think they may have partially already done this, Jason Jordan and Roman Reigns next week since he's kind of bad a little bit. Yeah, but if Roman just wins, then... This has not helped Jason Jordan at all. No, 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 no. But he's not exactly in a position other than having good matches. If you if he can make it, if he can give an entertaining twenty minutes with John Cena, then I think he's in a good spot. And I, more importantly, and more importantly, is if if uh, John Cena goes back and says, "Yeah, this guy's all right." Well, yeah, but that I mean, but we don't see that. Like, no. Like, the reason that it worked when John Cena debuted against Kurt Angle is later in the night on that same episode of SmackDown, we saw The Undertaker giving props to John Cena. We didn't even see Jason Jordan at the end of his own segment. Okay. Like, Cena picked him up and, you know, gave him the pat on the back, but that was it. Mm -hmm. Like, there should have been someone backstage. I don't even know who. Maybe even Big Show, who is a veteran. And, you know, just shake his hand like, hey, not everyone can go 20 minutes with Cena like that. Good on you, kid. You know, something. All right. Well, let's bring it around to to people that don't need the rub of The Miz and Jeff Jardy. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy? Yes, I'm making all kinds of new names two, tonight. Two J's. Just two call, J's. Just call Willow. Stuck on a J's. Willow, just call Willow. Or, or Willow. We can go with Willow. Uh, what do you think Holy of Holy crap. I, I think we summoned him. John Machesi's in the chat room, Sork. <laughs> Hey, wow, John, John McChesney appears. What's up, John? Uh, give some <laughs> shouts to you at the beginning of the show. Billy's, of course, representing over there on the couch with you. So there you go. Um, so anyways, uh, no, but yeah, we had uh, Jeff Hardy and The Miz intercontinental title match. I thought it was a really good one. But, of course, The Miz retains. But I think it was a good, strong intercontinental match, of which we've had zero, like, in a long time. It was a good match. I thought it was going to main event the show with the hype that was given last week, though. Yeah, until you saw Cage match. <laughs> yeah, and until you see Cage match, I'm like, oh, so the oh, Intercontinental hmm. title isn't going to get the showcase that hmm. everyone said it deserved last week. <laughs> okay, fine. Mm-hmm. What did you think about the placement of the match at the at the nine o'clock hour instead of having it like at the ten o'clock hour? Uh, I think they're getting ready for some football. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. So. So. I feel. Okay. I mean, it's probably a a a bad week to play this game, but I I know when we talked about the Pittsburgh Raw, most important match of the night happened at the ten o'clock hour. Right? Was the uh, Braun and Roman Reigns again? 
Uh, then it just flattened after that. What was the most important match for you tonight? Because I don't think it's always the main event of Raw. Uh, the women's tag match. Women's tag match. Well, this is a. Yeah. I actually know this is a more interesting game, especially the way yeah. Mike classifies important things. Yeah. Um. So tell me, Mike. Yeah. Hi. Uh, women's, <laughs> women's. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Yeah. Uh, Tell me about the women's no. match. The women's tag match. Uh, it's it's in, it's bringing fresh blood into the women's title scene that desperately needs it. Mm-hmm. And honestly, if WWE wants to be creative, they have Dark Horse Emma pick up a win. Oh, jeez, yes. At at no mercy. Like, oh, jeez. Which as it is, she won this one. So yeah. that's given like, a lot. Uh huh. Like and, honestly, I think that's the way to go. And, and and as it is, you kind of look at it. You know, everybody's saying, "Oh, Emma's getting kind of crapped on." She came out with what new, new music, new graphics, right, Billy? Yeah, new music, new graphics, and new moves. And new moves. I mean, I don't think Emma's in a bad spot. They're doing weird things with her the last few weeks, but I think that's the character right now with her. That's that seems like the way they're going with her. Mm-hmm. She, I mean, she's she's talking. She's She's enzoing a little bit, isn't she? She's kind of uh, uh, talking out of her ass a little bit. And uh, and what's up, Tina, in the chat as well? You had to uh, mention one of Mike's favorite people, Enzo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to Enzo in a moment. But but still, I, I thought I, I like this. Um, at first, I was a little iffy on we just. <laughs> John is saying in the chat room, Emma will steal the belt like she stole the phone case. <laughs> we were all thinking it. <laughs> we were all thinking it. There you go. It'd be the perfect situation for her, right? So yeah. But Emma's Emma's doing fine. She's she's got them behind. She's got the when you see graphics changes and things like that, like the the machines behind her to do something, at least in the short term. No, no question about it. She's she. They've changed her what like three times in the last six months now. Mm-hmm. So I mean, somebody's definitely behind her. They're they're trying to find the the right niche for it. Looks like, absolutely. Um. So so I'm looking forward to that. And, and again, I was kind of miffed on the way we went from the rematch, which is going to be good, to a four way, which can be a little muddled. But you know, kind of seeing that dynamic that we saw from that tag match, I think it's going to be really interesting. So do I. And I and I called it before the before it even happened. I said it's going to end up being a four way. And you're and you're you're like no way. They're they're not gonna oh, change. Yeah, it. nah, that seems a little quick. And maybe just Nia and Emma will do a thing for a few weeks, which they probably will still do. So you know, and it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a a cartoon of Emma running from Nia <laughs> until until this this uh, <laughs> uh, uh you're seeing it too, Mike, right? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever read Spy versus Spy? That's this four way is going to be Spy versus Spy versus Spy. <laughs> Like that's that's pretty much what it's gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. amazing. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> Great idea. So I know all the MM marks out there, mainstream ad and all the rest of you are very, really gotta be really excited about what's happening tonight. I, um, I am. I still want her old music back. <laughs> oh yes, of course. The new music is terrible. It, it is that. Like, but... like when the guy who makes WWE music says, I didn't do this one, you know it's not very good. <laughs> if it's not C Money F O, it doesn't matter anymore, right? So, uh, so, so, Billy, what was your most important match on Raw? I, th- I mean, and I really didn't understand the storyline, but like having Jeff Hardy and The Miz, I thought that was one of the better matches. But mm-hmm. I didn't. It just kind of came out of nowhere, and now where does it go from there? Mm-hmm. Is mean, it just kind of a stop forward on, on, on things? You know, is there something else happening with with Matt or something? Like that? I, I saw tweets about like, I hope Matt returns tonight on Jeff. Yeah, it's like. Mm. Or, or, they're, or they're, do, do, what about do they go back to Jason Jordan and Miz now? Now that now that Jason I think Jordan, that, had, I think they kind of have to. I, I, after he had a big match against Cena, now he's got he's got a little bit of momentum that he had a big match against Cena. Now he goes back after the Miz. Mm-hmm. I mean, because Miz don't really have anybody to go after his title again. Coming up on a pay per view, there's not this strong middle happening on Raw that there is on SmackDown. Like SmackDown, we have Kevin Owens, AJ Styles. Uh, I'll throw Baron Corbin in that mix as well. You know, some 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 really strong guys that can have some good matches. Versus the Miz is like, well, hey, Jeff Hardy's around. Let's do this. Everybody good for him to have matches with are in the tag division now. Yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say. What I mean, like, it seems like 
SmackDown, their their, their middle is really strong with singles, but mm-hmm. on Raw, their their strong point in the middle is really tags, right? Because there's so many decent tag teams on Raw I think now. Even even the thrown together guys like the Bar, like like Rollins and and well, you say thrown together, they're a former team, of course. Um, make it give a little bit of depth to it. I feel. Like I just wonder if we were supposed to get Miz versus Joe, but mm-hmm. with Joe's injury, they can't do that. That's now. true. They say if there's a little bit of awkwardness, where where where's the Samoa Joe sized hole in the roster right now? Yeah, because it seems like the Hardys were still supposed to be fusing with the Revival, mm-hmm. and Miz was probably supposed to be feuding with Joe, and injuries have really killed both of those momentum bumps. Good yeah. point. Good point. Which is unfortunate. Well, I mean, we we we've seen that. I mean, uh, I'm sure there was a post takeover Oscar uh, play that now we don't get to see because of the injury which they haven't really unveiled on NXT yet about what they're doing uh, with that's that. that's this coming week hey, okay I know there's a spoiler and we haven't really talked about it so um, we'll, we'll wait for that uh, but and that makes sense with the main young classic but anyways um, but no I, I think we're in a good spot with tags right now um, I like I like uh, the, the the club guys kind of getting into the mix and not yeah they kind of got punked out punked out again a little bit this week but they're not entirely just playing the jobbers in this in the, it's in somebody else's storyline I, I i i respectfully disagree <laughs> i i just kind of wish i love after we had a really really bad argument episode a few weeks ago I, like mike yeah, and i, I are, just... are completely on the sir I do. Res- I do gen- resolve to. Duel. I resolve to a difference in your opinion. Well, it could be because no, you have I, a guest in a, in a studio. Maybe he's yes, trying we're to, being civilized. He's, he's being civilized because I'm here. Absolutely. Like, we just I'd rather, we, I'd... We, we just need an adult to supervise us on Monday nights, <laughs> right? I would rather just get the club, just join up with Finn Balor. Yes, I don't care. Just if do it already. I don't, care, I don't care if they're heels. I don't care if they're faces. I, I want the club to be the one to put Bray Wyatt off TV for a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, put Bray off TV for a while. That way we don't have the prep, like, out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, and Finn can go after the IC title. He can do a bunch of other things with the club as his heavies. And then yes. we refresh Bray. We take him off TV for, like, a month or so. And then when we have a superstar shakeup, because you know it's probably going to be coming soon with all these injuries. I don't believe it. You you silently bring back the original Wyatt family, and you do the Wyatt family versus the Balor Club. I heard I heard rumors of repackaging for the Wyatts. I like I like that, Mike. I mean, because H- Hope Harper and Rowan aren't doing jack all squat on SmackDown. That they haven't done anything at all. Period. They've been out. Yeah. One injury. Yeah, they haven't been. Like, I don't know if they're injured or what, but I thought they were originally going to be the people behind all the fashion police stuff. Mm -hmm. But, no, that's just been a way to make the Ascension funny without putting surfer wigs on them. But you got to say, the Ascension are pretty (laughs) amazing now, right? Uh, No, I still want to see the two dudes with attitudes. I'd rather see them as opposed to the Ascension. I don't know. I'm really looking forward to that Danger Zone uh, uh, debut now that uh, uh, Pelvis Wesley... Did. Yeah, I, honestly, there are so many people that should just come back as their South Park characters. Like, mm. I want, I want <laughs> an invasion angle. South Park invades WWE. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, like a time rip in the in the world. And yes, see, if this was Lucha Underground, that shit would happen. And mm-hmm. You know it would. Hmm. Hmm. Um. But anyways, uh, I want to bring back to something that we, we, we commented on before and just get some, some thoughts. Ooh, ooh, we'll get on that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Alex says, uh, Luke Harper reminds everyone to check their calendar. Um, what? I, I don't know. I, maybe that was a different I, reference. I don't get it. I don't, okay. I don't know. I, anyways. Um, Is uh, it because winter's coming? I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Dude. Corey Graves, like I went back and tried to watch the NXT Takeover pre-show. I didn't. I don't think I got into any of the good, good, good stuff yet. But he was he was dropping some Game of Thrones references <laughs> on that, and he had whatever I watched that night, two oh five maybe. Um, he was dropping like some severe Game of Thrones stuff from the from the finale on there. Like 
Corey Graves fucking loves games of Game of Thrones, <laughs> and I'm realizing how much he, he, he goes to it. Right? Uh, there was one anyway. night where he just kept mentioning Major League. Mm-hmm. Like he just kept making major league references, and I was like, "I appreciate you, Corey Graves." Larry, yes, Larry. Larry. Larry says it's Ascension versus Fashion Police in a gluten on a pull match. Yes. Um, <laughs> Tina saying it's, with, with Eddie Money as the referee. With Eddie Money as the referee. Uh, Tina. Tina. Since we went this way, thoughts on Corey doing triple duty now? Uh, he's the fucking MVP. He, he is. He's he, not. He, he's not going to be doing triple duty though. They're, they're going to replace him um, eventually on Raw, right? Not Nigel is taking over two hundred five live. No way. Yes. yes. Yep. Okay. I, I yep. don't hate so that. Cor- so Corey, Corey's going to be on Raw and SmackDown, which, thank God. Now we just need to get rid of Booker T. I'm, I'm not. I'm not hating on the Booker. I'm not. Booker. I'm loving the Booker. I, I don't know. I think Booker. That, I think Book's got to stay. Booker's got to stay. Mm. He's going to stay. He has a little flavor to the program. I like it. Nope. Nope. Uh, Sword, you know what? You can throw shit on a sandwich, and that adds flavor, too. It's just bad flavor. But, what but the is hell? It... How the hell do you do sandwiches in New York State? I'm just saying. It's been a while since I've been up there, but holy crap. What has happened I'm... to upstate New York? Did, didn't, I, didn't I hear some to some place where David Otunga was filming a movie? Did you know he's filming a movie, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Can we put Booker T in a fucking movie so he goes away for for nine and a half months? You know, like, what? actually, I, go, I would like to see Booker T in a movie. To be, to be, to be. Let's put honest. Booker T and Goldust in a movie. Uh, just, just put them in a movie. Man, Mike. <clears throat> yeah. Hi. Enzo continued. I know you have thoughts. Oh man. Um well, it's it's nice to see that we still get repeated matches from 205 Live on Raw for reasons. By the way, if Enzo wins that that five way tomorrow night, yeah. Oh, I I I don't even know what we're doing because forward. Cedric Alexander is the MVP of 205 Live. Oh, absolutely. Like he's the all right. Actually, he's not the MVP because that would that would mean he's like the top dog. He's the sixth man because if you watch, like, you can listen to Enzo during his promos, but watch Cedric Alexander because he's doing all <laughs> the right things. Like, yes. Like even in the the locker room promo, like Enzo was talking out of his ass about like um like beating a couple a couple of haters. And Cedric was like, uh, like he was like, we we faced three guys, not not two, not not, not two, because a couple is a couple is two. <laughs> like you could just see him. That's right. That That's out. right. While Enzo's like, doing his thing, uh, uh, Cedric's doing math. Yeah, and I'm sorry. Now he's calling Grand Metalika cheese. Um, <laughs> unless unless this is a reboot <laughs> of. Unless this is a reboot of the Rocco's Modern Life short, Wacky Deli, where the cheese is the greatest character. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is what a reference Grand that Metalik. is. Wow. Deep like, Rocco's Modern Life cuts there. That's impressive. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it's not even like Grand Metalik means pepper jack cheese. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if it did, I'm okay with that, but it doesn't. Like... Like, how about call him the Iron Giant? Something close to Metalik. Like, you know, I don't know. And, like, I, I Can- like Enzo, but I don't think he should have been pushed to the moon right away, especially when it seems like the big matches are not going to be on 205 Live. They're going to be on Raw or pay-per-views. Well, yeah, but, but okay. Are you not interested in this whole uh, uh, cheating Enzo angle? <sighs> no, okay, that's, no that's, I'm, that's, I'm really you. not. <laughs> no. I'm really not because how else is Enzo supposed to actually win a match? All right, let me bring it around. Were you not a fan of how uh, our friend of the show from Philly.com, uh, Vaughn Johnson, put that Drew Gulak sold that poke to the eye like a shot to the eye? Drew Gulak is amazing. <laughs> Well, and, yes, just un- un- unequivocally. This, Captain Underpants is an underrated series of stories for youngsters. I am not familiar. So fuck you, Enzo. Uh, Alex says that uh, Enzo is WWE's Conor McGregor. Um, I would hope he's slightly less racist. 
<laughs> okay, there's that. <laughs> Larry says Grand Mal- Metalik has been emitting more personality since teaming with Enzo. Really? Um, he, he hasn't spoken. <laughs> as much personality as you can put out through a mask. I, I, I guess. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Um, and, and this is uh, Brandon's bringing up uh, Elias Samson started the show with a song, but they never aired it. By the way, uh, that's something that Billy, you 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 know some stuff from from tapings before the show, right? I, I saw on Twitter somebody tweeted out that Elias Samson had a match on um, main event against Kalisto, and he did a song uh, before Raw. Come on, mm-hmm. I, you know I but, don't I don't mind him doing the the opening. <laughs> He's the, he's By the way, you know, we, we were wondering about someone who could face the Miz. Mm-hmm. Where the fuck has the Titus brand been? Yeah, yeah, it's been kind of like, wiped off, hasn't Apollo it? Apollo Cruz versus the Miz with Titus and Miz going back and forth on the mic. Mm-hmm. That could be fun. That could be a lot of fun. That that would definitely be be watchable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and Titus could neutralize the Miz Taraj too, so that could make it rather enjoyable. Hopefully it's down the line. Yeah, maybe then. You I hope. I, I, I I wonder because I know. Um, I think Apollo just had a kid. Oh. So maybe he's on some kind of leave. I don't know. You never know. It could be in that Samoa Joe sized hole. Oh God. I don't know. I think if, he, if he's I, injured I think he's, too, then we definitely need a shakeup. I think he's still working house shows though, Mike. Because I, um, Sasha Banks puts uh, videos on Twitter where it's her, Apollo, Titus, and. Somebody else in the car going to a, a house show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and what what happened to Dana joining the Titus brand? Did we just drop that completely? Apparently, which I makes want, me so I sad. I want to see where that went. I, I hope it's still unfolding went. on WWE.com. Uh, Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Oh, well, you'll notice we didn't talk about the tag team champions or Cesaro and Sheamus, and there are reasons because of it. Well, we did, uh, sort of, but okay. Kind of. Uh, I'll say I'll say a solid hour forty five. Hour forty five, Billy. What about you? Um, I'd say probably two hours. Two hours. I think I'm going around that two hour mark. There's just parts where like stuff's happening, but you just fade. It's just it's impossible. It's just impossible to kind of stay with it. It was good wrestling tonight. It was a night of good wrestling. Yeah, I'll say that. Oh, um, before, what did you guys think of Roman's promo? Because I don't think that promo tonight did him any favors. No, it was an attempt. But okay. he still sounds like, uh, where were we? Was it on the main show where I said Roman's that guy that sounds like he, after he left and later in the car on the way home, he's like, I should have said this. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 but, the, but then perfect. but then again, uh, what about if, are they just making Roman? I mean, obviously we know Roman's not that great on the mic. He hasn't been so far. But is, do you think it could be that they're just making him look even worse because he's going up going up against one of the best ever? Uh, yeah, but like I I in that promo, Miz got more over than Roman Reigns did. That's true. That's, yeah, true. that's very like, true. Like, like, John, like, Miz got more rub from that segment than he's gotten with any segment where he's actually feuding with John Cena. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> very. That's you're right. That's, because that's that's because John point. Cena, yeah, John Cena basically validated everything the Miz has ever said with one throwaway line insulting Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're not the Miz. Is it, yeah, or at least you're not even up to the Miz. Uh, all right, and Brandon says around two hours in the chat as well. So uh, now is for now 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 for the the fun part of the show. Yes, it's all been fun, but Billy, you you brought some things. Well, first of all, I, I want to I do want to explain why I wasn't here last week. Okay, I went to my local Tim Hortons mm. and I said I'm a friend of Jackson Argos. I'd like to get the special you have going on. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting in the drive-thru, I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. They said, so the manager comes over and says, hey, you're a friend of Jackson Argos? I said, yeah. I said, man, I said, I see him in a lot of shows. I said, we're, we're good buddies. He said, I'll be right back. I'll take care of you. So I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting. Next thing I know, my car is surrounded by police cars. And I'm like, what the, what's going on? They said, well, we don't want nobody that knows Jackson Argos at our Tim Hortons. The guy's bad news. So that's why I couldn't make it into the show last week, Sword. 
So, I'm so Canada about... Dry Jackson Argos has has pull at Timmy O's. Well, he, he he that's all he talks about is Tim Hortons. So I went to my local Tim Hortons and they got a picture on on a wall with an X across it. So I found out the hard way. Don't mention his name when you go to Tim Hortons. Uh, can, can we pause for a second? How do you have a local Tim Hortons? Oh no, there's there's some oddly in West Virginia. There's a bunch of them over the line. Okay, because I was gonna say, are you? Did you teleport here from Quebec? <laughs> There is actually one in Calcutta, Ohio, which is a, about 12 minutes from my house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's one, it is actually one about 30 minutes away from me, probably. Um, but it's like a rest stop-ish Tim Horton, so it's not really the real deal. So there, there's that. Um, but anyways, there was a reason we were, were going to be on the show, and... and and you're going to do that now. I'm going to do this now. Now, Mike, we've watched Raw for months now. There's been one. It seems so, like years. Except, <laughs> except, except for tonight, there was one question that's been asked every Monday night. Mm -hmm. I have finally come up with the answer. Oh, okay. They always ask, who wants to walk with Elias? Well, I do. I have the official Elias on tour shirt. Yes. That I brought into studio. For the Wrestling Mayhem show, represent yes. friend. Of, this is the first. Is this the first time that we we've, we've acquired a T-shirt from WWEshop.com for somebody who's been on this show? Um, I have I have a shirt that has Johnny Gargano on it. Okay, there's that too. Okay, yeah. and I'm actually like I, my next purchase is going to be the Johnny Gargano shirt. So. Okay, all right. You're, you're stealing my thun thunder. Mine's in studio yes. though, Mike. Yes. No. No. Oh, no. Okay. You. Okay. You are. Bravo. I mean, and, and, and it's a you, great shirt, too. You, you have to have, if you're going to have style and fashion on the Wrestling Mayhem show, then you have to have a Breezango shirt, too, with the fashion police. <laughs> oh, protest and restyle. You, you, you must have. And what does it say on the back? You, you, you must have fashion police. You have the right to remain stylish. Fantastic! Thank you. Bobby's always has been uh, helping decorate the studio for a good while, uh, contributing some some artwork in in the background there, of course, with his likeness yeah. with John McChesney. Absolutely. And I never remember her name. Oh, I knew. I knew uh oh, name. uh oh. I knew, I knew you were going to ask me. And putting you on the spot and moving I knew, on. Uh <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me what her name was. Oh my goodness, I feel terrible. Well, she's ne it. she's never been on a show that I've seen. She does. She works the PWR shows. Yeah, the PWR time. shows. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but anyways, um, but uh, that and of course uh, some some of the other softball wrestling and the other things uh, and you guys the fuck that out sh uh, yeah, uh, shirt I got, I got the that got shirt. us some great attention from Rebby, Rebby herself. Yes, and of course uh, in my co backstage conversation with the Hardys yes. afterwards. Yes, so yes, very <laughs> much appreciative. Yeah, uh, no so, problem. So Billy's been contributing to the show for a good while now, and of course now part of our Patreon. Uh, uh, contributors as well on top of everything. So thank you very much, Billy. I mean, this is this, this is awesome. Uh, you know, really appreciate it. First of all, we're going to make uh, Roman wear the Elias shirt, and, <laughs> and <laughs> along with the other thing that he might be wearing that I'm not going to talk about now, and we're hopefully going to debut on the show tomorrow night. I got something special, Mike. I'm excited. It's worth it. It, it, it is. It is awesome, and it's worth waiting for. Billy knows as as my and since he's the sole Pizza Club member on on Patreon, I gave him personal uh, state of the show <laughs> since he's here <laughs> instead of doing a video like I'm supposed to do. Um, so more people sign up so I can do a video for that for all of you guys too, and you can get a heads up on what's on Roman's head that you'd only be able to see if you were swinging by the studio that we're going to incorporate into the show. Here. Oh, I think I can see it from here. No, no, no spoilers. No, 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 I'm, no. I'm, Move I'm, your camera. I'm moving your I'm camera. No. no. Sorg, <laughs> this is me. Do I spoil? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't no. spoil. In fact, I lord it over people's head when I know things. Mm, that's what I got to do for a year. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Fuck you, Sorg. <laughs> It doesn't help though. It doesn't help though that you didn't actually remember half the things. I didn't remember. Saw. My memory is horrible. And it's like a thing happened. I'm pretty sure. I didn't think this is it. No, it's not. Like, what this I'm one is sure, though? I'm pretty sure Chavo Guerrero is actually Dominic's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I completely thought Chavo Guerrero was coming back, and I forgot that was Johnny Johnny you Mundo that attacked him. You definitely him. implied that. And I'm like, where the fuck is Chavo in all this? Like, I thought he was coming back. <laughs> 
<laughs> Me too. That's my thought too. Like, when I'm watching that. That was the one thing you accidentally spoiled, and it wasn't even correct. <laughs> And that's how the game works. The only thing I was definitely certain on was the uh, uh, Sammy Callahan and and uh, uh, Mil Muerta's insane match in the tournament. Yes. <laughs> yes. I should take notes during these things. Um, but anyways. Anyways. Yes. Thank you so much, Billy Johnson, for joining us here on the show. My pleasure, Sorg. And Mad Mike, 4883 on the Twitter. He, and of yes, course, indeed. Hashtag MM on the Twitter as well. And I will be uh, live tweeting as much of the second round of the May Young Classic as I can stay awake for. Mm -hmm. And thanks and for letting me be a part of the uh, Raw wrap up, man, Mike. Oh, it, my pleasure. Absolutely, my pleasure, sir. You are welcome anytime. I appreciate that. I'm, in, I'm inviting people to your studio, Sorg. Oh, 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 good. Oh, I, I, I mean, we kind of have an open invite for these things, but um, sure, 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 Mike. That's, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Taking control. Where you can invite <laughs> anybody that's not on the band list. We we just have a small, small band list for people. Uh, Sorg, I was responsible for that band. You list, were so. kind of responsible <laughs> for the band list. So I hate I hate to I hate to do that, but we. They're do not that. with the band, yo. No, 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 no. You can't. They, they don't. They don't walk with Elias. You can't. Well, you, they, the problem is they don't. They don't walk with the Mayhem Nation, and they have their own club. And and we just don't do things that way. So it's okay. They they just generate poor heat. All right, let's move oh. on. Let's move on. All right, <laughs> all right. Uh, on that note, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, please check out everything SorgatronMedia.com, WrestlingMayhemShow.com for all the great podcasts, video shows, and live streams over at Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page. And we'll see you guys next week. Keep it.